Hello happy tribers! Welcome to today's tiny house update. We are currently in the tiny house and things are getting exciting. If you're new here, welcome to our happy tribe. We're a family of seven and we vlog our lives to you on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So subscribe and join the tribe. We'd love to have you come along for the journey. That being said, let's take a look around in here we have a couple of beds now this isn't the sleeping arrangement but look at it it's, it's coming along it's coming along it's close. i'm just touching up some paintwork and then i'm going to set up some other beds these are just temporary ones as we've just said do you want to show us in the other room let's go this is the room's mum and dad's house and they lived in sydney many years ago so i've just sanded it and we're thinking about putting it in here for like a cupboard. It's just an old... I think it'll work well. Yeah. And so that'll go over in the corner over there. Yep. And then I'm going to set the bed up this way. Yep. The bed takes up a fair bit, fair bit of room, but... Yeah. But it's still, still look at that. It's cool though. <laughs> and then we're just going to pick some paint off the window. Yep. So tidy up. Yep. I've got to redo around the window sill. Right? Get that one tape on. Oh, it's really there. Amazing. The main room. Turning around, here is the other room. Now you can see that's two single beds, so that's how long this is. But we're actually having going to have a bunk bed over there, and then a toddler, like a smaller single bed here. That just gives you an idea of the space. Do you want to say hello? Say hello. <laughs> Should we show them the bathroom? Yeah, let's have a look. Dun, 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 dun. Very clean, properly. We have water. Oh, you can't see the water, but it's there. <laughs> the bath. And we don't have a toilet. <laughs> Not I've got a basin here. I'm still looking for something that I like. Do a brow reveal because that's the what colour we should do, and let's show them what colour we decided. We went a light grey colour, very very light grey, just a bit easier to keep clean. For some of you, we recommended that that was the case. Yep. Some might even said they were a cleaner, and they recommended light grey grout. So that's what we've chosen. Yep. So we went with the, that grout for the tips, and yeah, I think it's really good. It kind of is a contrasting colour as well. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, quite happy. It's coming along. So that's where we're at with the shipping container house. I'm going to continue on painting the window sills. So yeah, next time I'll show you guys how much room's in here when I've got a queen size bed set up and decorated, and yeah, it'll be exciting. So stay tuned. I'm just going to give everyone a quick update. It has been tricky in a few stages considering I'm only a plumber. Okay mate, you like it? Here he is, the hard worker. I've cut windows. So it's starting to take shape. I'm just heading down to the container this morning. Blaine's already down there. We're roughing in the bathroom as you can see. On Monday the electrician is meant to come. And then as soon as he's done that, I'm going to insulate the whole container. Then I'm going to get some plasterboard and plaster it and then start trying to enclose it more. Anyway, we've got to keep working because it's taking too long. The big silver man. <laughs> Getting very exciting, starting to take shape and next step is I've got to figure out what cladding I'm going to use on the outside. I need to get something onto this bathroom and get it really watertight. The wiring is in, more down lights, kitchen power points. It's looking like a house now. There's the end room. That's going to look very good. Look at old mate. <laughs> I've also ordered the roof for the whole container, so I'm going to put that on hopefully, like, maybe the end of this week. Ah, coffee. Ah. How's it going this morning? Um, it's tricky. Just trying to 
figure it out because yeah. it's a shipping container and I've never done it before. Blaine's parents came down and looked after the kids and Blaine and I just got in and got as much as we could get done, done. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'm actually just standing in the main bedroom. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon. Oh, it's actually five o'clock and there's a dog in the background. We've finished the painting, except for in the bathroom. Just need to paint and grout. And so the container is nice and white. Beams looking good. Building a little kitchen now. That's the bowl that we're putting in. It's so much brighter now. I'm just gonna tidy up a few little spots. The mixer is now going in. So there's the kitchen space, and then you can see all the way down. It's taking shape. So here's my kitchenette. It's not perfect, but I think it looks okay. It needs to be stained, <laughs> which I'm gonna do. And then I can put a top flash back. It's so close. It's looking amazing. Excited. We're just showing you guys a bit of our life and you know it's fun, we're enjoying ourselves. It's and a project. We love doing things. We're not the type of people that just sit back and go and follow the Joneses and do what everyone else is doing. We have always been the type of people that do something different. Try and live life the way we want to live it. I'm you know sourcing things for cheap and finding things and just like I said, having a lot of fun doing this and Ruth's enjoying it herself, watching the progress of it and yeah. yeah, so. I guess we put ourselves out there yeah, in we social do. media. We put the videos up, we show people what we're doing with our lives. But the reason we do that is because we, we really want to inspire other people. We've yeah. always loved renovating and just changing things up. We're not the type of people that just sit back and just go with the flow of life. We we kind of try to make things happen. We want everyone to Definitely. see it. We want people to know that you don't have to live the same way everyone else does. Don't be scared to try something different. You can all do it. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. What else? Um, I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a plus. Yeah, I've got dust He's in got my dust eyes. In. He's got dust, he's not crying. <laughs> uh, once we finish the container conversion series, I guess it's been a series, hasn't yeah. it? So once we finish this series where we're doing the container conversion and decorating it all nicely and, and showing you how you could live in a tiny house, we plan to do the van life stuff pretty much. Yeah. That's our next steps. Live the life you want to live. We get one shot at it, make it count and love and respect one another be kind to yourself and each other definitely i'm heading off now to grout <laughs> so stay tuned okay that's not far away <laughs> it'll take you 12 hours to get <laughs> it's taking me some time to get there but i am on my way <laughs>